Cattle farming involves the rearing and management of two types of animals, one group for food requirements such as milk and meat, and another for labor purposes such as plowing. Animals providing milk are dairy animals, whereas those providing meat are beef animals. Cattle farming is not all about milk or meat production. It also comes with some responsibilities. To meet human requirements, we need to take good care and proper management of cattle. Cattle should be strictly maintained in clean and properly housed facilities. The following are routines followed for hygiene. Animals and their sheds need to be cleaned at regular intervals. The shed should be well ventilated and roofed to protect animals from rain, heat and cold. A proper drainage system should be installed to remove animal waste. Even with all these benefits, animals are still not an exception to diseases. These diseases affect animal health and may even be fatal. Viruses, bacteria, fungi and protozoans are the pathogens in animals. Today. We focus on ticks, a major parasite affecting animals and farmers economically. Especially with large herds of cattle, ticks are a major problem. Let's head into the grazing area and meet our farmer so he can tell us more about his farming experience. Hello farmers and welcome to Kilivo Nakinagro YouTube channel. Kinagro prides itself on agribusiness and the best agricultural inputs, ranging from acaricides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, poly fertilizers, and ultimately partnering with farmers. I am your host, Miriam Gadioni, and in today's episode, we feature a large scale livestock farmer based in Juja who uses Tick Dip, a product by House Farm, a subsidiary of Kinagro Suppliers Limited meet our farmer Robert Mwania. Robert Habari. Good. Terribu sana. Ninaona uko na mifugo wengi sana. Hao ni kama na mabadi ngapi ya mifugo? 75. Mhm. 75 wa maziwa. Wa maziwa. Kati. Mhm. Dume moja. Na watoto wale wengine wanja Maina ni kiongozi. <laughs> Vyema sana. Yeah. Sasa sababu yako kuweka hawa mifugo ni sababu ya nyama, maziwa, ngozi. Ah ngombe ni mweta mm -hmm. ya maziwa na kukiwa na kiangazi na kunguza na uza nyama. Yeah. Kwa hivyo inategemea ina ambavyo anga iko. Anga venye iko. Kukikosa nyasi una... Una kunguza. Aha. Yeah. Oh. Na unafanya aje insamination ama Huyu ndume ni yeye ana ni yeye anazalisha au ngombe wengine? Ah, wengine ni yeye anazalisha. Mhm. Mm ah, wakizai. Mhm. Mm Kama kume amezaa ndume tunaona ndume ni mzuri. Tunaweka hiyo ina kwa sasa ya tembo inaweza kuchukua pale pole. Na wanakuzi wanaridhisha macho sana. Yeah. Ni ngombe ambao wako na afya kabisa. Yeah. Ah, hivyo ni vyema. baada ya kufanya hawa oh, ngombe hawezi nipiga hawezi kidana kwa hivyo hata nisiwaogope siongope ndio ya watu haya baada ya kufanya ukulima huu wa ngombe kwa miaka mingi je ni nini kinakusumbua sana kama kupe vidogoto kupe aha uh nimesumbua -huh. sana kwa hiyo miaka mingi nimetumia dawa ina mingi kwaona nimetumia kenangro ndio niliona nakatisha ngombe zangu nzuri kupe inaisha eh unamaanisha tick dip dawa ya kenangro ambayo inatumika kuua kupe viroboto viroboto aha wadudu wenye wako hizi kichika ngombe unaua umbu aha ikiwa huko kwa kichaka umbu ikichika ikiwa umepiga ndao haiwezi yuma Kwa hivyo unaweza dhibiti dawa ya tick dip ipigwe na wakulima wote. Wote. Ni dawa mzuri sana. Ni dawa mzuri. Mhm. Mm Ni kiboko yao. Mhm. Mm Chakupe. Ah, kabisa. Eh. Asante. Ah. 
baada ya kuwa na kupe kwa mifugo wako umeona kupe wanaleta shida gani kwa mifugo na vivi afya ngozi na maziwa na afya yao inazorotesha afya ya mifugo wako lakini sasa uko na tick deep hata hautakuwa na shida ya afya sina shida sasa ya afya aha ngombe sasa wangu wako na afya nzuri sasa aha vyema sana Uh, alafu unaona je hali ya anga ambavyo inatupeleka bado utaendelea kuweka mifugo utaanza kulima ndaendelea kuweka mifugo yangu aha nikitumia tiki aha ya kupe huko aha ukiona kusimaza kuharibika ariaga aha tuanze kupunguza tena aha na zile siku ambazo kunanyesha sana bado mnaleta mifugo wenu huku nje kualisha wakati kuna nyesha kuna sehemu tunafaa tulishe juu ya maji ukipika andao au pai mkanyanga maji kombe sikanyanga unalisha ngambo ile ndio kuna maji ni dawa ikijua mwili mzima ubora wa tikdi ambapo inakuja kwa mvua ni ati hata ngombe wako wanyeshewe dawa haiondokei ngombe wako bado itafanya kazi yeah. kwa sababu iko na oil layer hai haiondokei mfugo wako kwa hivyo mvua isikutatize tena utakuwa tu sawa yeah. baada ya kutumia dawa ya tikli unaweza himiza wakulima wenzako waitumie Eh na kaimiza kulima ndangu wote. Natumia mm. tiki tiki kwa mfugo yao. Ni mm. nafanya ngombe kwa safi. Hakuna tiki. Na afya yao imerudi vizuri. Ni dawa inafanya kazi Nafanya 100%. Kazi. 100%. Ah. Ngozi yao inakuwa smooth. Aha. Ah. Na pia inaonekana kushai. Yeah, Hii dawa inafanya ngozi ya mifugo wako ishai. Ah. Ah, yeah. Dear farmer, as you have heard, Tick Deep is undisputedly the best acari side in the market. You can access this acari side at an agrovet near you from 20 ml to 5 liter packs. We have come to the end of our video and I hope it has been as educational to you as it has been to me. Remember to subscribe Hit the notification bell to be notified any time a video is uploaded to the page. Na sasa mkulima, kwa heri sana na asanti kwa muda wako. Asante sana. Aha. Nimeshukuru sana. Sija kunitelea. Ah, karibu sana. Endelea kutumia TikDip. Asante sana.